Hello beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel and if you're new, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, as you all know, the long summer holiday is over. And so that means parents are really busy with back to school shopping as well as packing. So I already received a list of the things needed for the next class. I bought what he didn't have and some extras that I always pack for him in his school bag. So let's pack together. <laughs> so I'm first going to show you what I always put in my son's school bag. As you can already see, there's an umbrella. It's always there in case it rains. And then on this small part here, I always put two masks. Two in case one gets lost or gets dirty or whatever happens, then he has an extra one. And then I always put some tissues for him, always. And then I put uh, some wet wipes for him. The last thing that I put on this part here is hand cream. I always, always make sure that I put hand cream in my son's school bag. So this is the hand cream that I'm going to put in my son's school bag. It's filled with shea butter and almond. It's really, really good, especially when it starts getting cold and sometimes the, the hands are really dry. And then he uses it. Mm, and it smells so calming. It's really not so strong. It's really so calming and soothing. And yeah, that's what I always put, all that I always put in this part of my son's school bag. So let's go to the next big part. So here comes, of course, books. And I like to buy, for example, if um, mathematics is always filled quick, I like to buy more than one so that in case in the middle of the week one is already filled, he has an extra one to use. But the ones which I, they don't frequently use, then I, I can buy two or one. So here comes books. 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 So next, we are going to check what needs to be replaced in his uh, pencil case. Here, let's remove everything that comes in here. So we already start with this. These are already too small. So we are going to replace them with two. I always like to put for him two in case one gets um, lost or whatever. You know kids, the small kids. So I put two. And then he's going to still use this eraser and it has a rubber which he really likes. He's the one who chose it. So eraser and then there's a pen and then there's a scissor for art and then there's a liquid glue for art too and then we have glue sticks. The big one he leaves at school and then the small one he always puts in his bag, in his pencil case. And then we are, he has two rulers, one long one which comes in his bag and then one small one which is com comes in his uh, pencil case. So that's it for this small pencil case. Put that there. Next is this case where he puts his coloring pencils. So let's see what needs to be replaced. So this is this pencil case and I already bought uh, some extras so that we replace the ones which are um, done. And I have to give credit to a friend of mine. When my son was joining uh, the first grade, a friend of mine advised me to either purchase things from Faber Castell or Pelican and since then my son is up using them and since then I've always been either buying Faber Castell or Pelican because they are really really good for kids so let's replace this so let's remove the new ones Okay. All right, and let's replace this. So there is blue, which is not that uh, long anymore. You can use it at home. I replace it with long one. Replace. This is also small. Replace.
done with the coloring pencil case these are all that i replaced which is of course going to use at home because i always tell him he has another uh, case only for at home i always tell him uh, the cases for school should stay for school and when it comes when he comes home and he has homework then he has to use the case that is at home which mostly consists of these ones that are always replaced so there's this small case here that has a ruler inside there is a sharpener there is an eraser there is a pencil and then i put in these markers that i got him i also put them here because it's big enough to fit all of them and i always make sure that i write my son's name in every all the the painting uh, pencils all the everything i make sure i write his name so we are done with the books we are done with the um, pencil cases and now let's go to the next part so now everything that i'm going to show you it's needed for art of course the coloring pencils are also needed for art but those are things the pencil cases he carries them at home every single day these things that i'm going to show you here he leaves them at school all the time of course if he wants to paint if he wants to do such things with things like this then he has the same things at home which he can use them but this remains at school now let me show you what i pack for him for art again so the first thing that I'm going to pack are these oil pastels. This is new. The teacher requested for us to buy this uh, Jackson from this Jackson um, brand. Yeah. So anyway, oil pastels. All right. So next I have these water painting colors. And as you can see, they are not new. But I bought extras extras there is gray there is blue there is dark blue green another green there is gold brown orange black blue and then yellow i bought extras in case one is finished like this in case it's finished then you can take one from this so there which is not new right so next i'm going to pack painting brushes and as you can see there are two extras number 14 two 14s the reason why i have two extras here it's because on the list they needed number six and number 10 but when i bought this they only had number six and 10 they didn't have 14 so i had to buy these two so there coloring uh, painting brushes also these are not new he used them last time and he's still going to use them i think for a long time <laughs> so next i have water container which they use when painting it's not new he used it last time so this is how it is next there is this sponge box It's also not new. He used it last time. Next is this container. I guess they use it when painting. Next there is modeling clay. Next crayons, wax crayons. Next, I have these A3 uh, drawing pads, two of them. And then there is this gummed glossy peppers. This is all there. Next, we have these transparent peppers. next i have post folders two of them because we bought this because he said mama i want them because look at all these cute animals there's a lion behind too 
so so i ended up buying two so he uses this mostly when he receives a letter or whatever that uh, mama has to read then he keeps it here and every day i have to check it or i don't even have to check it if my son receives a letter or whatever if maybe they've done a test and their results before i even ask before I even check he brings and says mama you have a letter and so mama reads the letter and if it's a result mama reads, reads the checks the results and if there's anything that needs to be signed, mama signs and returns in here. So this is where all the posts and results for test or exam come in. And this, he puts, maybe he has painted something and it's not finished or whatever he wants he can put here. Because anyway, this is where he puts the letters. So, post folders. Did I say cute animals? There. And especially when he saw this, Mama, Mama, let's get this, please. Mama, can you please get this? <laughs> so I had no choice. So next, I have folders. Some are new, some are from the previous term. And they are for every subject. So we have pink, which is one. I bought one new. There is orange. And then there is black. And then there is purple. But he has two. This is what he had previous term. So I bought us the second one and I also wanted to buy the same same design because look how look how strong you will surely use this for, for for quite some time I'm really impressed and then next I have two reds one from the previous time and then one new and then I have blue two of them one from the previous time and one new and then I have two greens And then I have two whites. And then I have one yellow from the previous time. So I'm also still going to write uh, names on this. And then I bought this here. Bought this. Okay, and I bought some. <laughs> Look at this. By the time it finishes, you will use them for such a long time. Anyway, I bought them in case this here spoils then he has he can take one from this from those there and use without any problem anyway that's it for the folders and then guys i bought this i bought him a, a water bottle currents please tell me how many times in a year do you buy water bottles because <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. anyway this is what i bought uh, i bought this on uh, amazon um climate neutral product so this is blue the previous the previous one was the same same design but in black and the reason why let me remove this and the reason why I love this design, it's because it's because no matter how much water is in here, it won't drip in the bag. Because, you know, I always bought some other bottles and then sometimes the books are wet and all that. But with this bottle right here, I think I'll always buy the same design for him. If, see how it is, this part here, you just have to close see and then you just have to close like this and then it cannot open it cannot open and so it's very rare that it that you find uh, books wet or whatever you know keep it's really rare for for water to drip on the books because once it closes that bottle like that no matter what no water will come out and also there's this handle here. You can carry it like this in case maybe he's going out to play or whatever. Uh, when they have break, then you can just carry it like this. So it's really, really practical. I really love it. And it's really safe uh, in case you, you don't want your kids' books to be wet and you're not kids. So this is really, really good. And since I started, even the, the previous one, like I said, it was the same but in black. And... There's no single day that I found anything wet in his bag. So 
this is really good i bought it in amazon so beautiful people that's it for everything that i packed for my son for back to school that's all that i had to show you guys and i'll see you in the next one ciao <laughs>